the hero, everybody. Who here remembers this set? This set was absolutely insane when it came out. This is one of the most nostalgic sets for me personally. Um, it came out in 2011, and at that time I just really got into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Start going to um, regionals and all that stuff. Yeah, this is one of my favorite sets of all time. Rescue Rabbit comes in here, and God knows how many Dino Rabbit deck profiles I have on my channel. I remember I was still trying to play Dino Rabbits in like 2013, 2014, just because I love that deck so much. This set, no one really cares about it anymore. People just want the Galaxy Eyes. But the funny thing is, like back then, <laughs> if you pull the Galaxy Eyes, like that shit's bulk. Um, but everybody was hunting the Rescue Rabbit, the Lagia, the Dolka, the Zen Mains, the Wind Up Rabbit. Um, just so many groundbreaking cards. Like this set was so good. So many like cards worth over a hundred dollars at the time, and like a hundred dollar set cards were considered pretty insane. Wind Up Hunter. That that shit literally broke the game. Who here remembers the Wind Up Hand Loop? Wish I had my chopsticks. Last time I opened this box was Christmas 2011. So this is a major throwback. All right, let me smell this shit real quick. Smells like nothing, but love that. All right, wow, look at this. Honestly, you guys probably think this is bulk, but um, I don't know, these cards are just so nostalgic to me. Because this is right when I, you know, really got into Yu-Gi-Oh, like really got into the competitive aspect of it. Let's open some packs. Let me take a whiff of this real quick. It smells decent. Junk Defender. There's no need to wear a cup when you got Junk Defender, so. Gotta pitch this to the NFL, you know what I'm saying? It's like 2.30 a.m. right now. Everybody in my house is sleeping. Gotta keep this shit on the DL, you dig? Infernity Knight. That's our first super rare. No Infernity deck played this. I'm looking for my uh, Road Nut. Have not pulled that one yet. Damn, that was just so satisfying. Like, literally, guys, I never open packs, so this is such a treat. Creepy Coney. Love that guy, Pine Kono. We got something. 1600, 1300. Shit. <laughs> Sergeant Electro. Vanilla, that's sick. This is probably the one of the worst ultras. But um, it's nostalgic in that sense that whenever I see someone pull this, I'm, I was just like, damn. <laughs> feel bad for you, but now I feel your pain. So this is good um, as a way to cultivate empathy, I suppose. But yeah, three packs, two hollows. That's pretty lit. Lit like a star. That took way too long to come up with. All right, let's see. Still no road nut. That's really depressing, actually. What the hell is this shit? Honestly? Like, come on, you're better than that, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, this ain't no Pokemon. What the fuck is that? Let me just smell these real quick. Wow, I'm really turning into a psycho. E 
ego boost. Interesting. Damn, we got a swordsman. That's pretty sick. She looks of Asian descent, so pretty cool. I approve of that. I always gotta represent homeland, you know what I'm saying? Isn't this a pretty good card? Now, the thing about this set is that the commons are literally absolutely trash. <laughs> Except for one day of peace. That's the only card that was actually played in certain decks. Um, certain rogue decks, I would say. There she is. Looks like my cousin. Alright. Hey, Spawn, what the hell? Are there any synchros in the set except for this card? Like, is this the only synchro? I don't know. Yeah, I always get excited when I see a white card, but <laughs> ain't nobody getting excited for Lava Dual Slashers, clown ass. Evil tiles were never good. It's funny. Um, Lagia Dulcar was so broken, but no one really played the, the evils. We just used Rescue Rabbit. Hopefully you guys appreciate I'm not reading off every single card. <laughs> I know a lot of pack openers do that. I do appreciate that because for the blind people watching the video, that's, it's honestly um, very thoughtful. But I assume most people watching the video aren't blind. So they, you know, they, they can just see the card, you know? Um, and no one really cares about the comments and errors, but this is a pretty good one. Clowns that did play evils, they would run this card. Wind a bat. <laughs> Literally no one would play that. I remember back in Dueling Network, um, I know it's Dueling Book now, but Dueling Network, you always come across like some clowns running the windups that literally no one plays. Back in the day, Dueling Network, um, and then you would, you know, build up your rating, and then slowly and slowly, wind up bat will disappear from people's decks <laughs> as the ratings went up. Let's see what we got here. Oh shit. Oh yeah, guys, who remembers this card? Baby, oh shit, what the hell? Baby Tyragon. Man, if you guys go to my old um, binder videos, you will see this card. <laughs> I just kept making jokes about this card, I don't even know why. Um, but I had like five copies of this in my binder. Actually, guys, don't, don't go back to my old videos. That shit's cringe as fuck, but that's really nostalgic to me. That's a pretty cool looking card. Okay, I'll take it. I accept it. Had to snort that shit real quick, you dig. Kage Tokage. That's a really good rare, actually. Well, not anymore, but it was actually played. Shark Stickers. I literally don't understand. Konami sometimes. Like how they come up with this shit. Shark stickers, like bruh. I wanna know what chemicals they put in their brain when they come up with these card names and card concepts. Who came up with the name Kage to Kage? Honestly. I wanna shake that man's hand. Holy shit. Wow, Cobra. That's a good card. Was. None of these are actually playable anymore, but you know. Oh, that's an ulti. Oh, shit. Damn, that shit looks cool. Not the ulti I would ask for, but... It is a very nice looking ulti. Although I don't even see what the hell's going on with it. It's just way too crazy right now. <laughs> I can't even see the artwork, but I just know... And that shit hot. That's hot. In the words of Will Smith, that's hot. Gotta, gotta um, snort this real quick. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Holy shit, have we not gotten a road nut yet? I probably haven't been checking all the comments, but... There's one day of peace. We seriously haven't gotten a road nut. Some Illuminati shit right here, what the fuck? Shit. 
down memory lane. Although, we have not pulled anything that really uh, triggered that neural network in my brain yet. But hopefully, uh, we'll get something nostalgic. Alright, this is a hollow. What is this? Is this like extra gate? Yeah, extra gate. Oh my freaking shit, guys. <laughs> there it is. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Let's go. This is so sexy. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm not even like trying to be funny or anything. Like, <laughs> this is Konami's own doing. The name of this card is literally Road Nut to each their own, you know? Pretty sick. We have Poisonous Winds. I always thought this card had potential. Seems like a decent lock. I don't know. But no wind decks really did shit. Oh shit, what is this? <laughs> That's an Illuminite. To be fair, this card is really nostalgic to me as well. I think I pulled this in a video I made nine years ago. Mm -hmm. I opened like 12 packs of the set and I pulled that, so. That's sick. If you guys were wondering, this box was um, $250. It's going great, going great. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, obviously we're not opening this to make money. It's for the memories, you know. Deep Dark Trap Hole. It was never really played though. Honestly, none of these were played. Is this short print, guys? I swear, <laughs> Konami literally short printed that card. All right, six hollows so far. We already got our ultras and ulti. Like, the only saving grace, really, is the secret rare. Light Serpent. Welcome to the family. Guys, I really wish I had my chopsticks on me right now. I really do. Stinging Swordsman, what's up, girl? All right, what is this? That's a Galaxy Eyes. Yo! Oh my god. <laughs> I swear I've never pulled anything even close to this before. Like, on camera. This is insane. We just pulled a Ghost Rare. Oh, no shit. You guys just saw me do that. Oh my god. I really wanted to scream. Um, but oh my god. But um, there's people sleeping right now. Gotta be courteous, but... Holy shit, we actually pulled it. Damn, yo. That just made this box so worth it. This is the second ghost rare I ever pulled in my life. Um, the first one was like a Draco Knight, whatever, from uh, D-Rev. Um, but that was like, I don't know, 10 years ago, 11 years ago. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I had a feeling because, you know, I saw the 3000. I'm like, yo, that's the Galaxy Eyes. But we already pulled our Ultras and Ulti, so I was like, what can it be? This is like one per case. I'm so glad I recorded this now. I wasn't going to. I was like, yo, just let the channel die. <laughs> Haven't made a video in months. Um, but, you know, I'm very glad I did. Alright, what is this? Wow, still really only one road nut. I was going to do a thing where if I actually pulled the place out of these, I would, um, not on the road. But, uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. Because 
there's only one. Only one of them pulled. Alright, I think this is a hollow. This is dark smog. Yep. Dark smog. Alright, sick. Okay. Um, this card was ran in Dark Worlds. That's cool. Oh, we got something else. That's a Giga Brilliant. Oh, it's a Black Ray Lancer. All right, all right, all right. I see how it is, boy. I see how it is. That's a lot of freaking hollows. Last pack, this shouldn't be anything. But never say never. If Justin be a bird and tell me anything, well, that's what he told me. Um, And that's it. Oh shit, let's go. Two nuts, anatomically correct. So, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, uh, let me sleeve this up real quick. I'm not gonna grade these if you guys are wondering. It's just for nostalgia. I mean, if we pulled like a rescue rabbit, I would have probably graded that. This galaxy eyes though, um, there is print lines. As you can see, there's one right there. Damn, okay, so a little recap here. Honestly, um, this thing made this box opening absolutely incredible. Other than that, not the best pulls. But um, because we pulled that, I would have to change the title to Amazing Pulls. You know, godly, as, uh, as some clowns would say. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, this is Kanye West 2 and 5. I don't know when I'll be back next. Um, <laughs> your boy is pretty busy. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Peace.